Hyperland vs. Qtile. In this 2025 comparison, we'll find out which styling manager fits your workflow, so make sure to like and subscribe. So, number one is their architecture and display server. Hyperland is a Wayland compositor, which is WL roots based, with dynamic tiling and smooth animations. On the other hand, Qtile traditionally runs on X11, but it now offers a Wayland backend solid, though it's still less polished than Hyperland's Wayland experience. Number two, their configuration style. Hyperland uses a single config file with declarative options like hyperland.conf. Fast to tweak, great for theming and animations, while Qtile is configured in Python, giving you pragmatic control, conditional logic, functions, and modules, which is powerful for advanced users. Number three, performance and effects. Hyperland emphasizes buttery animations rounded corners, and effects, with good performance on modern GPUs. While Qtile keeps it minimal by default, you can add widgets and features via Python, focusing on stability over eye candy. Number 4, Extension and Ecosystem. Hyperland has an energetic community, Hyperpaper, Hyperlock, Hyperidle, and Curated.Files, while Qtile boasts a mature widget and bar system. Python packages, and tight integration with status bars like Qtile's built-in bar. Number 5 is their hardware and compatibility. If you are already in Wayland, especially AMD or Intel GPUs, Hyperland is for you. And for older machines or where X11 tooling is essential, Qtile remains dependable on that situation. So, so for final verdict, you can pick Hyperland if you want a polished Wayland experience with slick animation and simple configs. And you can choose Qtile if you want maximum control via Python and a classic tiling workflow that you can script end to end. So if this video helped you, feel free to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.